Hey, what's up guys? Someone asked me in a recent video two questions, and I think these questions are on the minds of a lot of guys, one of them for sure. The first question was, if you're living in a small province town and you're dating or you're in a relationship with someone and it doesn't work out, but you wanna stay in that small town, how would that impact future opportunities to meet somebody else? And the next question was, this is a biggie because it's a very controversial topic and I've learned that since coming to the Philippines so it's something that's common here not common in the West and guys and girls get so heated fired up sometimes pissed off and angry on age gap relationships so he asked me do younger girls actually like older guys or is it just a hundred percent usually transactional type relationships so I'm gonna answer that to my best ability as well Starting with the first question, so everything that I've learned about the Philippines, especially in the province, is gossiping and rumors and all of that is a really, really big thing here. And also, Filipinas are naturally very uncomfortable with the thought of a guy, a foreigner, being with another Filipina. It's probably the first or second question they're gonna ask you, especially if you're already here in the Philippines, is, have you been with a Filipina? Do you have a Filipino wife? Do you have a Filipina girlfriend? You know, what are you doing here? There's a lot of caution and concern about your, you know, purpose of being in the Philippines and your, you know, current and previous history with any dating with Filipinas. Especially if they are in the town that you're in, that is a huge huge concern for a lot of Filipinas. So to answer that question, I think that right off the bat, you're gonna scare away a good chunk of girls. So if you end up dating a girl in a small town, you're gonna stand out because chances are there's not a lot of foreigners in that town and you do become a familiar face. People do talk, people do you know, share information about so-and-so is with the foreigner. And so there's no hiding it. The majority of girls are going to shy away from um, considering you. Now, that might be the initial reaction, and there's probably some that'll be okay with it, but it's probably not gonna happen quickly because of you know, their, the obvious concern. They don't want a reputation of being the second Filipina or the third Filipina. Reputation, like that is such a huge thing in the Philippines, especially in the province. So, however, this sort of contradicts that. It's the only example that I can think of. I was in a town, uh, Surigao City in Mindanao, and I was in a tricycle and I was just chatting with this guy and I was asking about are there other foreigners here and you know there wasn't many at all and apparently there's like one foreigner that's been living there for a while that he, that he used as an example anyways and he was talking about how every week or every month but frequently he is seen around town with a different Filipina and he's an older guy and I never saw the guy or met the guy, but he just described him as like this tall, older, random dude that's always seen with these, you know, other, these different Filipinas. And so that of course is, that sort of contradicts what I'm saying. Surigao City is a bit bigger of a town or city, so maybe you can kind of get lost in it, but I honestly think it's probably not the norm. There's probably, you know, money involved and these girls catch wind of, you know, maybe dating him, he pays them and spoils them, so they're willing to sacrifice reputation. Hopefully that answers the question. That's as far as I know, and if anyone agrees or disagrees, let me know in the comment section, but that's kind of how I see it. And the next question is a tricky one to answer. Um, so do younger girls actually like older guys? And of course, there's a spectrum, right, of age gap. But there's a lot of things to consider with that question. I'll break it down as best as I can based on my experience and people that I've met. I think for sure it's case by case. I think that there are definitely girls that 100% are attracted to and are drawn to older, mature guys. Like my friend Frechi, she's in a video on my channel. She talks about it in detail. She's very articulate. She's a younger girl, prefers older guys, she's attracted to older guys, she likes the look of an older guy, she loves the uh, emotional maturity and the way that she's treated and someone with life experience, someone that can kind of, you know, show her some things, she feels 
comfortable with that kind of dynamic. She likes to be led. She likes to be more submissive. That dynamic, she actually really likes, she prefers it. Um, you know, she referenced Sean Connery, you know, in the video. So that brings me to this next thing. Her boyfriend is a much older guy, German guy. I've seen photos of the guy. He's a good looking man. He looked kind of like Sean Connery. He's got a, you know, he's got the full head of white hair with the white beard. You know, he's educated. He's got a really good reputation. He's very, um, he's just like a smart, kind, nice guy. All of those elements are factors, right? So are you a good looking guy? Are you a confident guy? Are you mature? Do you know how to treat a woman? You know, all of these variables come into play with younger girls liking older guys. If you're an older guy, but you know, you're not confident and you're not, maybe you don't have any sense of humor or maybe you're lacking some of these other characteristics. Well, then that's going to impact having a younger girl be interested in you and stay interested in you, in you genuinely, right? We see age gap relationships in the West, but it's always rock stars and movie stars. So take this for what it's worth. This is my opinion on why I think age gap works well here in this part of the world. And if you guys disagree or have any thoughts on this, please drop it in the comment section below. From my understanding, most women place a higher value on a man that makes them feel secure. It makes them feel safe. Even things like sense of humor. He makes me laugh. I feel comfortable around him. These things are often at the forefront of what a girl is drawn to. Definitely your looks too. You know, are you in shape? Are you good looking? That is definitely going to come into play for a female. I'm not saying it doesn't, but the security, the safety, the feeling comfortable, we're enjoying, you know, life experiences together. He takes me on, you know, these fun trips and dates. That's definitely a huge draw for a lot of women where a guy is often drawn to, oh man, when I look at my girl, she's so cute, she's so attractive. I feel, I get this rush of excitement when I'm around her. I'm just so proud to be with her because of how she looks. She makes me feel younger. She makes me feel more youthful and I have a, I have a bounce in my step. This gets guys excited. Guys place a higher value on that. Not that the other things don't matter, not that the conversation and how kind she is and how caring she is, those are all huge factors for guys, but the looks are placed at a higher value for sure. This is definitely just my opinion, but this is how it seems to be for men and women. So with that said, this is why these age gap relationships happen here. Pretty much most of the time, there's some age gap when it comes to foreigners and Filipinas here because, well, guys can date younger here. They bring all of those factors. They bring the security. They bring life experience, maturity, um, all of those things to the table, which then attracts you know, a wide variety of women here, including younger women that are looking for that, that are drawn to that, that are not so impacted by ageism and you know, judging you for age. And they don't feel like they're gonna be judged for dating an older guy as opposed to back home. So that doesn't get in the way. And then the guy is like, all right, I can attract these more youthful, more good looking girls. So naturally, this is what happens here. That's why these age gap relationships happen. And I know there's examples, plenty of them, where it's not a genuine relationship. It is a transaction where money's involved, uh, desperation's involved on one side, opportunities involved on the other and the girl's not really into the guy and she's just doing it for the money. Definitely, there's definitely examples like that. But when you see a couple that are maybe in this sort of situation, it's usually very obvious. There's an obvious disconnect between the two. There's often, if you see them together, they seem like an odd couple. You don't see them really engaging. You don't see them laughing together, talking together. It just seems like they're there because they've made a deal with each other. But there's also plenty of examples where it's just not like that, where the relationship is genuine, you see them together, their humor is matched up, their interests are the same, they're enjoying each other, they're respectful of each other. Isn't that what a relationship's all about? It's not always about the age. It doesn't always reflect compatibility. There are plenty of girls that are 30 and 40 that are super immature, that are full of drama, that are whatever. And there's plenty of guys that are in their 20s, the same age as these girls that are complete meatheads and are not good guys. And they're not 
of interest to these girls. There's bad examples and there's good examples, but the Western mentality often blankets it and it just assumes all bad, no good, not compatible, impossible. And it takes coming here to a country like this and meeting enough people to start to see that it's the person. How mature is that person, her and him? You can have two people that are the same age with on paper, everything seems perfect, but there's no compatibility whatsoever. And you can have a huge age gap with amazing compatibility and mutual respect and caring for each other. It's just case by case. There's just so many factors when it comes to what makes a good, healthy relationship. And it's unfortunate that the Western mind immediately goes to these extreme negative things and makes assumptions. How much of the girl's desire and her role in this, how much does that play into all of this? How much should people consider that when they have their opinion about age gap relationships? Like my friend Frechie, like if she just prefers an older guy because of all of those things that I listed, it's not just the guy pursuing the younger girl. These girls are pursuing older guys. So for people that have really, really strong opinions about this and get so fired up and immediately you know, label the guy as a pervert, should that not factor into you know, the whole scenario? Anyways, guys, share your thoughts. Let me know your feedback. I know people have you know, strong opinions on this kind of thing. I appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video.